Hello everyone. I am Kamal Kumar. I have recently completed my masters from CSS University Meerut campus and I am gold medalist in physics. Presently I am working with National Anveshika Network of India under the guidance of Padma Shri Professor H C Verma. We have established a science center in our hometown Badod where we organize small workshops and explains the different complicated problems of physics with very easy demonstrations. I have been teaching physics since last 4 years. my motivation behind becoming a teacher is hidden in a story so please pay attention this story relates to the life of alexander the great when alexander set out to win the world his preceptor or teacher we can say his guru aristotle told him to be careful while he attacked india it was not only that there are so many great warriors but also great teachers who could make thousands of alexanders and especially be aware of acharya chanakya and when alexander attacked on india rest is history it is written in our epics also that cloud rain less in desert and more in ocean but the teachers teaching never does some partiality so in our epics in our shastras teacher is considered to be the great donor than clouds that is why today be a teacher means to promote the indian education system so this is the main motivation for me to become a teacher these are some facts which are center of attraction for me to become a teacher now let us come to the topic which i am going to explain so our topic is coulomb's law as we know that like charges repels and unlike charges attracts it is known as fundamental theorem of electrostatics here we will determine the magnitude and direction of the force with the help of coulomb's law suppose we have two charged particles one is q1 and second one is q2 and the distance between them is small r and we have to calculate the magnitude of the force acting between them this force may be attractive or repulsive that depends upon the nature of these two charges if both of the charges are positive or negatively charged then the force will be repulsive and if the charges are of opposite sign then the force will be attractive then according to coulomb's law the magnitude of the force acting between these two charged particles is directly proportional to the product of the magnitude of these two charges q1 into q2 and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them if i combine these two results then i will get f is directly proportional to q1 into q2 upon r square to remove this proportionality sign we have to introduce a constant a proportionality constant here the proportionality constant is f is equal to small k q1 q2 upon r square and the k is proportionality constant its value is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not k 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not k here <coughs> the k is dielectric constant dielectric constant of the medium between these two charged particles for air or vacuum it is simply taken one for water it is 80 to 81 and the value of k depends upon the nature of the medium if we are assuming ideal situations that the medium between the charged particle is air or vacuum then k will be one the constant will be one upon 4 pi epsilon not this epsilon not is called permittivity of free space it is its value is 8.85 into 10 ki power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square 8.85 into 10 ki power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square it is a physical quantity which shows that the absorptivity of the medium how many electric field lines will medium absorb that is why the higher the value of permittivity that means the medium will get will absorb more electric field lines due to which the force acting between the charged particle will decrease that is why epsilon not is written in one upon terms epsilon not and f are inversely proportional higher the permittivity lesser the force lesser the permittivity higher the force the term 1 upon 4 pi shows the spherical symmetry what is it means suppose q1 is a charged particle which is placed at the center of a sphere of radius r and q2 is placed at surface of the sphere at any point 
then this 4 pi shows that the force between q1 and q2 whether q1 may be at any point of the surface the magnitude of the force acting on q2 will be same this definition is still incomplete because force is a vector quantity and we have only mentioned the magnitude of the force so what about direction a direction of the force will be the along the line joining two charges the direction of force will always along the line joining these two charges suppose q1 and q2 both are positively charged then the force acting between them will be along the line in outward direction like this f12 and it is f21 f12 is force on q1 due to q2 and f2 is force on q2 due to q1 if q1 and q2 are of oppositely sign minus q1 or plus q2 or plus q1 or minus q2 then the force will be attractive and it will act inward direction but it will always act along the straight line joining these two charges it will again f12 and it will again f21 force on q1 due to q2 is f12 and f2 is force on q2 due to q1 in next video we will discuss about why it is termed as law why it is not theorem why it is not coulomb's theorem why it is not coulomb's postulate why it is not coulomb's law why it is coulomb's law why it is not uh, coulomb's perception why it is not coulomb's empirical formula the meaning of exact meaning of the law we will discuss in next video so thank you